Hello and welcome Gemini. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Gemini, let's see what is going on. And what is it that Gemini needs to know? Alright, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to oops, is going to resonate with your situation. And that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Gemini, you have the Page of Wands, Five of Swords, a Sun card, uh, the Magician, and bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. Beautiful. All right. Wow. Okay, so, Gemini. Hmm. Right away, I'm getting, you guys are seeing potential where you once thought there wasn't any. Or you're... It's like you almost gave up on a situation, but then it's like you get some good news out of, you know, out of nowhere. It's just like, hey, Gemini, so, you know, that position you applied for like six months ago and you didn't think you got it. Well, now we need help and you're, you fit the bill. So, you know, how do you feel about that? So it's like, you know, getting something that you kind of thought was like, you know, in the past or, um, you know, this could be a person reaching out, but it's getting some kind of good news. Like I said, it's having some potential or something, a doorway opening where you thought it was just kind of closed to you. Yeah. Um, with the Five of Swords, hmm. Again, I feel that's just kind of like, for some of you, it's kind of getting in your own way, kind of like overthinking, um, almost letting your own ego kind of get the best of you. But then for others of you, this is somebody kind of playing mind games with you. Because I feel like someone's saying, you know, I have, um, like, I know I can do this. I have full control. But you're like, do you, though? <laughs> um, it's kind of like, you know, you're like, but you shouldn't do that because, you know, X, Y, Z could happen. Just let me show you how it's done. And it just kind of blows up. Yeah, because I get, like I said, someone's kind of trying to control a situation that either just cannot be controlled or they are just really kind of feeding their own ego. Yeah. Hmm. It just kind of feels like in the past, you've kind of been dealing with someone like that. Like I said, just kind of playing mind games with you or, you know, just kind of like fu fueling their own ego, almost like it's your cost or, you know, your expense. But it just feels like you're kind of, you're getting away from that energy or that's an ener energy that you put in the past. Um, because then we have the sun card, we have the magician card, and we have the hierophant. So this is like kind of learning, you know, from from this lesson. It's like learning about, you know, others kind of letting others walk on you, um, letting others like call the shots. Because it feels like, Gemini, you've kind of kept quiet when you needed to really kind of speak up, especially on your behalf. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Gemini, it really kind of feels like you are making things happen, especially with the magician here. Yeah, it's like you're really manifesting something. This is like, you know, for a lot of you, it's going through some kind of spiritual awakening. And you're realizing just like how much you are able to manifest. Um, it's like you're, what you're seeing that you've been manifesting for quite some time is finally coming into fruition. Um, for others of you, this is really, you know, kind of problem solving, figure something, figuring something out here. Um, this is like taking things to the next level for some of you. Like I said, with the Hierophant, this is really kind of owning your craft. And by that, I just mean, you know, learning those lessons. Um, you know, if this is, you know, you decide to be a teacher, you decide to be a nurse, you know, whatever it is that you decide to be, it's like you, you're owning that title. It still feels like you're open to learning things, but it's like you're, you're like the master. You know, you're like, um, like I said, you're just, you're owning that title. Hmm. For some of you, I get you could be um, like light workers, energy healers, like um, something along those lines. And it's like you're teaching that to others to be able to kind of pass that craft on to, you know, help other people. All right. So clarifying that page of wands, we have the nine of cups, the empress and the seven of pentacles. So again, this is something you've been waiting on. Um, this could have been, like I said, several months. The first time around, I was kind of getting like something six months ago. Um, but this could be several months or this could be just a few months. You know, again, it's going to resonate differently for everybody. Um, but it does feel like, you know, this, 
situation, this opportunity, um, this communication that you've been waiting on, that, like I said, it could have just, you thought maybe, you know, it wasn't going to happen. And it's like all of a sudden it happens. There's potential. The store is opening. You know, you've been waiting on this for quite some time. Like I said, it feels like, you know, there's this new opportunity, this, you know, new birth of, you know, new kind of growth or something. Um, with the Nine of Cups, definitely leading towards your wish fulfillment. Leading towards your happiness. Like I said, this is really focusing you. Yeah, I was going to say it feels like you've actually kind of like spoken up. Um, because then we have the Queen of Swords here, clarifying that Five of Swords. We have the Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Three of Wands. So a lot of that um, kind of, you know, vocal energy, a lot of those, you know, thoughts, that, you know, logical process, um, kind of removing feelings, afraid to one speak up. You know, you're speaking up, you're setting boundaries with, you know, people, with situations, with relationships. Um, you know, and you're, like I said, you're looking for this opportunity. For some of you, you can kind of intuitively feel that this opportunity is coming in. And you feel yourself moving forward. Okay. With the Sun card, you have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Hermit card. Beautiful. And you have the Death card. Yeah. Heading towards that major transformation. Big changes. Big happy changes. Letting something end. And like I said, new beginning. Like I said, a new growth. A new um, birth here. Especially with the Empress. So again, going back to the Death card. Ending. Going towards a new beginning. Big transformation. You know, think Phoenix rising from the ashes. With the Hermit, you had to find yourself. You know, there is a little bit of a process that you had to do before you could become that master of your craft. Before you could get out of the darkness and into the light. Before you can find that balance um, with the page of pentacles again if this is speaking of a relationship you know again and you not you know speaking up within a relationship kind of letting somebody walk all over you it does feel like this person is going to be coming back or trying to come back with an apology but this is you just not really even needing that apology anymore where once you thought it was needed it's like no i you know i forgive you like i've already done moved on like i i don't need your answers anymore i don't need your apologies it doesn't mean as much to me now as it did back then you know i'm like a whole new person now um there could be a little bit of an age difference between you and this person or just like maturity level you know take it how it resonates all right, with the Magician card, we have the Devil, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have that Knight of Wands. So again, this is really kind of focusing on some kind of level of toxicity. It's like something, it's almost like fear is holding you back, or this person was kind of holding you back from reaching your full potential, reaching that, you know, security, that stability, that um, taking the lead, taking charge, really sitting in your own throne, um, really kind of being in that grounded, nurturing energy that's able to grow, and that's able to provide, you know, security, like I said. Um, especially for yourself it's like this person really caused a lot of doubt and caused a lot of like insecurities or definitely you know you to acknowledge your insecurities that you know you've had um, with this knight of wands though this is taking action this is like pursuing some kind of passion this is just kind of getting out of there like I said really going towards your passion figuring some things out most importantly taking action here with the hierophant card we do have the eight of cups we have the Will of Fortune, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Like I said, mastering that craft, owning that title, um, walking away, putting the past in the past. Like I said, heading towards you know, some kind of evolution here, heading towards some kind of major transformation, major change. With the Will of Fortune, like I said, it, it would, it's about time. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm stuttering. Um, but it's you know, all about that timing. It's all about um, you know, luck being on your side, you know, divine timing. Um, it's all about your fate, your destiny, and then that that ace of pentacles that beautiful ace of pentacles that new beginning all right that is awesome all right let's get some oracle cards here please for gemini yeah for a lot of you it's like you really manifested um this new beginning this ace of pentacles here just took a little faith, you know, to um, believe in yourself. Yeah. All right, let me put these down. And you had two. So we have fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. 
All right, so Gemini, for some of you, like I said, you could have just been tolerating this person. Like I said, not speaking up, just letting this person almost mislead you or play mind games with you. Um, you know, and it's just because you were lonely, you tolerated this person, or because you didn't want to be alone, you tolerated this person, you tolerated their treatment, you know, even though there was like some mind games going on or something. But, you know, like I said, you've transformed, you've gone through some kind of change, some kind of awakening here. Um, then you also have love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Yeah, so this is really, again, all about that journey of self-love, finding yourself, loving yourself, knowing what you deserve, and speaking up on your behalf, not keeping quiet, especially when someone's mistreating you. Or like I said, playing mind games, you know, it's like calling them out on it, not, you know, settling, just keeping quiet. It's like, Gemini, you know you deserve better than that. All right. So we have two here. So we have Flamingo, enjoying friends, balance and chaos, dealing with your emotions, mastering your energy and vibration. See, what did I say about just like owning that title and mastering your craft? Yep, yep, yep. All right, then we have life surfing. So feeling capable of overcoming adversity, no expectations, approaching life like a sport. How awesome is that? All right, let's get some angel oracle here. All right, so yeah, so Gemini just feels like you're kind of on the wave of a lifetime here. Um, so we have no coming out, and then we have not the right time. Choose a new direction. Okay. All right, so like I said, um, going back to the very first cards we laid down, you know, at first you could have thought maybe the situation was a no. Um, you know, like I said, it just wasn't the right time. You had to choose a different direction. But it's like there's a new opportunity coming your way, and it's really bringing in that security, that stability, that long-term, um, you know, ability for growth here, that Ace of Pentacles. So beautiful. So what was not meant for you at that time is definitely going to be coming, you know, something that is meant for you is definitely coming in is what I'm trying to say. All right, Gemini. Okay, so we have cleaning house. So cleaning house, you know, getting that energy going, raising that vibration, letting go of things that are just kind of, you know, cluttering, you know, just cluttering your space, cluttering your mind, you know, just where you can't think straight. Um, you know, when things clutter, you know, that's just things that we're holding on to. And like I said, it feels like you were kind of hanging on to someone, like I said, kind of really tolerating, you know, definitely less than what you deserve. And to, so you had a clean house. You had to get rid of that. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's take a couple more Oracle here for Gemini. Okay, we had a flipper. So we have cassette. So outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. See, and that's, for me, that is that fear coming out that you had once. Um, it's that just replaying things. Again, fear of kind of letting go. Fear of finding your own stability. Just kind of being with someone so you're not alone. Um, yeah, it's just like I said, an outdated way of thinking, you know, letting them just kind of play mind games, letting them lead you on. And it's like, no, it's it's done. It's over. I need to move forward. I need to get on with my life. All right. Any other messages, please? Okay. So we have strategy. So have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about your desires. Okay. All right. So yeah. So like I said, owning your craft, getting that new beginning, that new possibility, um, that new possibility with tons of potential here, um, walking through that door, you know, having, releasing that fear in order to do so, knowing that there's going to be a new beginning after this ending. So, all right. Well, that is what I have for you, Gemini. So I do hope this helps your situation. Um, absolutely beautiful. You know, keep manifesting because it does feel like you are calling in some really good things. You're heading towards some big changes. So keep that in mind. Stay positive about it. Bring in all that positivity that you deserve. So, all right, guys. Take care. And until next time, be good.